in the ancient world, clean water wasn't just a luxury, it was a matter of survival. But how did one of the greatest empires in history solve the challenge of bringing fresh water to millions while managing waste on an unprecedented scale? The answer lies in the ingenious engineering of ancient Rome, a civilization whose plumbing systems were centuries ahead of their time. But today, we're diving into the remarkable world of Roman plumbing. The story of innovation, ambition, and the profound impact it had on public health and urban life. Get ready to explore the aqueducts, sewers, and engineering marvels that still inspire modern cities. Picture a sprawling Roman city at its height, bustling streets, public baths, fountains, and thriving marketplaces. At the heart of it all was water, delivered by the iconic uh, Roman aqueducts. These towering structures, some stretching over 50 miles, were designed to transport fresh water from distant springs and rivers directly to the city. But how did they work? The brilliance of Roman aqueducts lay in their simplicity and precision. But using gravity alone, engineers carefully calculated slopes to ensure water flowed smoothly over vast distances built with durable materials like stone, brick, and concrete. Many aqueducts still stand today, a testament to their craftsmanship. Once the water reached the city, is it was distributed through an extensive network of lead or clay pipes. Fountains and public baths were prioritized, ensuring everyone had access to fresh water. Even the poorest citizens, this wasn't just about convenience, it was a revolutionary leap in public health. Imagine living in a time when most people relied on polluted rivers or communal wells. Uh, Roman plumbing brought not only clean water, but also dignity and comfort to daily life. It's hard to overstate how transformative this was for an ancient civilization. Uh, and then there were the, the baths, extravagant social hubs that showcased the full potential of Roman plumbing from the luxurious thermae of Caracalla to smaller neighborhood baths. These facilities weren't just places to get clean and they were centers of community life featuring heated pools, steam rooms, and even libraries. The secret to their comfort a brilliant heating system called the hypocost. Hot air from furnaces circulated beneath the floors and walls, creating warm, inviting spaces. It was the ancient equivalent of underfloor heating, a luxury we still enjoy today. But Roman plumbing wasn't just about delivering water, it also tackled the less glamorous problem of waste. Enter the Cloaca Maxima, one of the world's earliest sewage systems. This massive underground network of tunnels carried waste away from the city, keeping streets clean and reducing the spread of disease. While the Cloaca Maxima originally served as a drainage canal, the, the Romans expanded its use to handle human waste, setting a, a new standard for urban sanitation. It wasn't perfect, but it was far more advanced than anything seen in most of the world for centuries. So what happened to these incredible systems? As the Roman Empire fell, so did much of its infrastructure. Many aqueducts and sewers were neglected or repurposed for centuries. The innovations of Roman plumbing were forgotten, leaving cities to grapple with disease and poor sanitation. It wasn't until the modern era that urban planners rediscovered the importance of clean water and efficient waste management, lessons the Romans had mastered long ago. And today, we owe much of our modern plumbing to the ingenuity of ancient Rome. Their aqueducts laid the groundwork for water distribution systems. Their sewers inspired modern sanitation and their vision of clean, accessible water as a public right continues to shape our cities. The story of Roman plumbing is more than a tale of engineering. It's a testament to the power of innovation to transform lives. It reminds us that even the most basic necessities like water and sanitation require bold thinking and a commitment to the common good. The next time you turn on a faucet or walk past a sewer grate, take a moment to appreciate a legacy of ancient Rome. Their ingenuity not only shaped their world, but also laid the foundation for ours. And who knows?